Fatima, the miracle of Fatima. You know what, before I break it, I'm gonna actually show it to you. In the spring of 1917, in the countryside of Fatima, Portugal, the Blessed Virgin Mary first started appearing to three young shepherd kids. One day, as they were looking after their sheep, they suddenly saw a bright flash of something like lightning. They looked up, and they saw a lady clothed in white, brighter than the sun, radiating a light more clear and intense than a crystal cup filled with sparkling water lit by burning sunlight. She said, continue to come here every month. In October, I will tell you who I am and what I want, and I will perform a miracle for all to see and believe. Now, as the word on the street grew of the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin appearing to the three young kids, naturally, not many believed them. But the thing was, every time they got interrogated, the stories matched up perfectly and they seemed to be telling the truth. When the 13th day had come, the weather turned bad again and heavy rain started to fall. Again, Mary appeared to Lucia, Francisco and Jacinta. Lucia asked, what do you want? She said, I want to tell you that a chapel is to be built here in my honor. I am the Lady of the Rosary. Continue always to pray the Rosary every day. Mary then got very sad and said, Do not offend the Lord our God anymore because he is already so much offended. Then, opening her hands, she made them reflect on the sun, and as she ascended, the reflection of her own light continued to be projected on the sun itself. After she disappeared, the people then witnessed the great miracle which had been predicted. The miracle which is known today as the miracle of the sun. The dark rain clouds broke and the sun appeared as a spinning disc in the sky. It was said to be significantly duller than normal and to cast multicolored lights across the landscape, the people and the surrounding clouds. The sun was then reported to have sped towards the earth before zigzagging back to its normal position. Witnesses reported that their previously wet clothes became suddenly and completely dry, as well as the wet and muddy ground that had been previously soaked because of the rain that had been falling. One of the eyewitnesses, Dominic Reis, later said they looked as though they had just come back from the cleaners. The miracle is reported to have been seen from as far as 15 to 25 miles away, thus ruling out the possibility of any type of collective hallucination or mass hypnotism. Doubters and skeptics of the kids' apparitions and of Catholicism had now become believers. Believers. They came believers because of that. It, it, to me, uh, I don't believe what they saw was any type of God, but they obviously, this thing that appeared that was glowing, that was big, was obviously wanting to be worshipped. It wanted a church built after it. And what I think is interesting about that is that Isaiah 14, 12, right? 14, 12 says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which does weaken the nations? Is that the verse you're looking for? Yeah, and goes on, go on okay. uh, further than that. Okay. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yes, that's the verse. I. Everything oh, was I, 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 I. Me, 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 I, I, I. Yeah, he, he wants to have worship. He wants to sit on the, the throne of God. He wants to ascend above the, the clouds. Of the, I mean, he wants to be God, basically. And so mm -hmm. these things, they desire to have worship. And that's the identifying mark of the fruit, if you will want to use a, a biblical word for these things. I do have Matthew 23, 9. As they were saying, she said, continue to pray the rosary. And, it, and rosaries are these repetitive prayers where you pray over these beads over and over again. Matthew 6, 7 through 8. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases like the Gentiles do, for they, will, they think they are being heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask them. So there's, there's, there's no point in going over and over again and saying this mantra over and over again. Uh, like the Harry Christians do, Harry Krishnas, Christians, 
Hare Krishnas do. Because when they do that, I mean, that's, that's, that's just repetitive things that, that make you think that you're supposed to do this stuff in order to be heard. God hears you. God mm-hmm. hears every, every word. It's works-based, too. You know, they're mm-hmm. doing something to get something. And I, uh, I, I think it's interesting, too, that she says, um, the, the video says that they all turn to Catholicism because of that. Catholicism also wants to take uh, Jesus out of the picture. He wants you, they want you to pray to a father, who they call their priests in the church. Except for Jesus says, do not call anyone on earth father, for mm-hmm. one is your father, and he is the one in heaven. And so it's almost as if, and I'm, I'm, I'm heavy-handed on the Catholic Church principles here, the people I love, the people are mm-hmm. awesome. I have so many Catholic good friends. A lot of people that have, have realized the truth have come out of this. And, and the, the truth is that this, this idea is strictly against a lot of the Bible principles. And so it, it, you really need to step back and look at this uh, Fatima. Did I say that correctly? Fatima. Well, we have an ongoing discussion here. It's either Fatima or Fatima. So with the Catholic Church, you said how they, um, they're changing things or something like that, you mm-hmm. said. But anyway, it brought to mind the fact that the Catholic Church, uh, the papacy says they have many creeds, whereas the Christian who is a fundamental biblical Christian has one creed. That's the Bible. Oh, so things get changed. It's okay to change. It's okay to utilize other things than the Bible. This this is part of reinterpreting tradition. God's word or yeah. what God says. They have a, a they yeah. they say they have a tradition and it doesn't go ag- for the Bible. That's right. Where we say it's the Bible and the Bible alone that determines what truth is, and that God has mm-hmm. had His hand in creating this book and putting this together throughout eternity, from when it wasn't called the Bible until when it was called the Bible, where it has a bunch mm-hmm. of scripts and scrolls to to what it is now. The, the, what is it he called? Is the, the word, and yet, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it was called just the uh, the, the manuscripts or the the uh, yeah exactly so what the you're Texas saying. something or other. Texas Receptus, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And then, Very of course, good. the Catholics have other canons. Yes, and they have, yeah, these traditions and a separate book from the Bible. You know, I think is mm-hmm. I, I, so you got these other religions too. I'm not going to name them because I don't want to go into them, but there's other religions that hold um, their scriptures above the Bible as well. And it's, 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 I see that happening in, in Catholicism too. They have their, um, their canons, they have their their traditions. They have um, what is that book called? Someone's going to think of it in the chat, but it's uh, it's it's the the Catholic Catechism. There we go. Catechism, um, okay. Yeah. And they they have their own uh, interpretations of things, and I, I mm-hmm. and, and yet you don't have people calling them out and saying, "Hey, uh, this isn't biblical. This is uh, this is not uh, this is this is not Christian." Uh, but you have them calling out other religions for having separate yeah. books, and rightly yes. so. And so, if you and hold yeah, something about the going Bible, going to the papacy, you know, yes. working hand in hand with them, hmm. so. going with mm-hmm. and going with them, and, and 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 seeking them out. I mean, you have every president in the United States going to the the funerals, going to the presentations, offering praise, calling them father, uh, and, and mm-hmm. wait a second here, what what's going on? And, and at the same time, a you federation have, is forming. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and everyone's coming together. It, uh, it's an interesting word you should use there. Why did you use that word, I federation? Know. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Hang tight. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks for watching this segment. Subscribe to our channel and join us every Thursday night for more daily strange topics and more. Find us on Discord by accessing patreon.com strangenormal. See you there.